Hey, what up? Uh, welcome back. I know it's been a long time since I record, but uh, I'm going to try to answer this question and I'm going to try to answer a couple more that we had during this year. I've been very, very busy with some projects, but uh, here we have on the channel James Davis. It's ask, it is asking us, is there a way to add soup to soup menu in a custom new menu so pretty much he's asking if we can make a or customize a new menu inside ZBrush so let's see something quick how to do it okay so we're gonna open uh, ZBrush okay we're gonna have this interface um, well I have uh, the new ZBrush uh, 4R7 is amazing. Let me tell you, we're going to see the new features in another tutorials. I'm sorry, it's been so long, but we're going to try to get on track. So we're going to press comma to take this one off. So if you press comma, you, just, you can take it off. I have a custom interface. You can download it in my tutorial named Custom Menu. And uh, we're going to start with something to activate all the options options we have over here. So I'm going to go here, cylinder, uh, make polymesh 3D. So now we have all my customized menu over here. So you already know how to do it. If not, you can go to my basic customizing menu tutorial. And uh, now we're going to watch, we're going to figure out how to do the what uh, James is asking. So, first of all, we're, we're going to have to, where I'm going to drag this over here. I'm going to press T, as in the trust T. There you go. So, now that the uh, mouse is red, we know that we can use everything over here. X, okay, make poly mesh, okay. So, this is just for for us to have all these menus available to work with. So for customizing, we're going to go to Preferences, Config, and Enable Customize, OK? Now that we have that, I'm going to anchor that. So when I press that in Preferences, this one over here, it goes all the way over here, OK? So, now that I have that over there, I'm going to turn this one collapsed. Now we're going to go to Custom UI. This is what my friend is asking. So, we're going to make a new window. For that, we just have to create a new menu. For this one, uh, we're going to call it, uh, I don't know, we're going to try to do a couple of uh, materials and a couple of... Uh, tools for when you're painting or poly painting so create a new one uh, we're going to put like a poly paint poly paint okay now that you press enter you're going to see it over here the top sometimes it depends uh, where it, where it's going to be created but uh here we can see it poly paint okay so for that, we're going to press this one over here, and we're going to drag everything here to make it clear. So I'm going to press this over here, and I'm going to press this with the left click of the mouse, and drag it to the left. Okay? So now we have, we have uh, the menu over here. Now we're going to be able to custom, customize it. Uh, so for this, we can make like a drag any of these items over here or make a custom uh, sub palette uh, for example control alt and drag it and there you go you have something to drag over there or we can do a custom palette over there so now you see we have two spaces to fill uh, you know what we could have done something like a Okay, we're, we were talking about poly painting, right? So, all these ones, you can get it from the menus over here. Uh, but uh, to make it faster, because 
it's going to take me a little bit to be looking around, depending, like, okay, let's do it the way it is. Control Alt and drag it. Okay, I drag it to Untitled. If you want to rename it, you can rename it after. With Control Alt and double click, and we can put Poly Paint Tools Enter. And you see the menu is has a different name now. Remember, Control Alt, double click, and you can put a new name. Okay, so we need uh, colorized. We need RGB material uh, fill object. So Control Alt. Fill object. There you go. Uh, what else do you do when you are painting? Uh, I believe you need the material. I believe you need the RGB. I believe you need what else do you need? Uh, depending on what you need, you can try to do all these ones clear. Um, what else about face masking? Mirror, mirror, mirror. And uh, maybe you can drag some of these tools over here, like probably the new tool that we use for uh, Well, maybe it doesn't appear here because I just collapsed. It is here, C model. See, when I put it, this goes over here. Don't worry, we can go over here and press brush, drag it over here. And then we can look around over here. B, M. No. So I believe it's B and Z. And here we have C model. So now we we picked it, it's going to appear over here, Control alt and we're going to drag it over there, see over here? This is a filler, so if you don't like this, you just drag it over here. Okay, so now, once you have your your tools that you want in uh, your custom um, uh, palette, if you want to, if you wanted to make it pretty fast and uh, to access, what you do, you go back to preferences, config, and you turn off enable customize. Okay, so now when you have poly paint, remember we have it over here, right? Poly paint, we drag it over there. So now we can press Ctrl Alt and press the mouse left uh, button. So, Control Alt and um, the mouse left, and we click it on the Poly Paint menu. So, if you don't press uh, any selection of keys, it's going to say the hotkey operation was cancelled. Let's do it again. Control Alt. There you go. So, now it says press any key combination to assign. So, I'm going to press Control. Control X, no, because uh, that's already something that I can put Control, Control, mm, what do you want? Control B, Control Alt B, Control Alt B. Okay, so I just pressed Control Alt and B as in uh, Barbie. So it says now hotkey assigned. So if I turn this one off, I collapse this and start working, whatever, and I press the Control B. Look what happened. Now I can access that whenever I want. So I hope that this answers your question when you want to make a custom selection, uh, customized uh, menu, depending on what you want to do.